Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today we'll be working on week number 46 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. We're going to be doing a shadow box layout. I have um, shadow boxes in different rooms of my house and I like to change them up for the holidays and also just for everyday use. Instead of having one picture, I have choices of many. So I love my shadow boxes. So what I've done is I've cut um, nine squares of white and they are three and a half by three and a half inches. And we are going to lay these out. And I'm going to use my ruler, my favorite ruler. And I'm going to line this up at the bottom at half inch. check here yes half inch at the bottom and I'm going to come in half inch from the side so I can see that my corner here I can match that right up just like that okay and you can see that too I'm a half inch up and a half inch down so I'm going to glue this down Like so, and my inside edges will be a quarter of an inch, and then this should keep them evenly spaced out. Okay, so I'm going to come back in, I'm going to press that down so I don't have to worry about my paper sliding in there. Half inch, half inch, press it down. I'm going to go to this one. Now, I did not ink any of these edges because I want them white. And my base is a medium gray color. Again, I'm going to hold this down. I'm going to come in that half inch and press my paper right up against that edge there. Perfect. There we go. Now, this one in the center is going to be centered at a quarter of an inch from each. You can see my quarter of an inch mark there, and my quarter of an inch mark there. That is where we're going to lay that one. So again, I'm just going to, I'm just using my art glitter glue. You can glue, use whatever favorite glue you have. Uh, even if it's tape, it doesn't matter. Again, quarter of an inch. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to come up here to the next row, and I'm going to hold this at a quarter of an inch there and keep my half inch on the edge. So I want my quarter inch line to be lined up perfect with that top of those. There we go. So I'm going to take, I'm making sure my texture is on the outside because they get flipped around and stuff. All right. So I'm going to hold this down, line up my quarter inch, my half inch. There we go. Get that out of the way. Perfect. Next one. This one's going to be a quarter inch and a quarter inch, of course, because it's the center one. So it's going a quarter inch up. From here, quarter of an inch in from there, line that up just like so. Oops. There we go. Okay. This one is a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch and a half inch from the edge. Okay. Let's line up our edge again and a quarter of an inch. And we're going to put that right like that. There we go. So now you can see that. We're going to come up again, put it on a quarter of an inch line. And that should leave us a half inch from the top. Double check here. All right, so half inch from the top. 
Okay. All right. So again, put that quarter of an inch edge on there. A half inch. All right. And this is the easiest way to do it um, for this size, for the three and a half inch size. If you are using a different size, then you will have to figure out what your measurements are for that. So quarter of an inch up from there, half inch in from the outside edge. So then my four edges will be a half inch and my other edges will be a quarter of an inch. So, and if you want them all exactly equal, you can spend the time to figure out what it is. Um, I am perfectly happy with doing it this way. It uh, It's faster and I don't have to worry about eighths of an inch and sixteenths of an inch and all that kind of stuff. So they are all lined up nice and neat. Our last one. And I do these in all different kind of configurations. Quarter inch from the bottom, quarter inch from the side, and we should be a half inch from there and there. Just like that. All right. So there's our base. Now, our next ones are either going to be stars, gray, or dots. And I'm just going to lay these out. My center one, I'm going to keep white. I've got these set up over here so I don't get them all over the place. And... There we go, just like that. So we're going to lay those out like so. Like these are dots, these are stars. And I debated whether or not to do them all dots, all stars. And I just kind of liked the mix of it. So let's go ahead. And these are three and a quarter by three and a quarter, all of these ones. So we will have about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So we still will be able to see that white. These I'm just going to eyeball. And these are just pieces of paper from my stash. Um, I have lots and lots and lots of paper. Way more paper than I should have, I'm sure. And those I did edge with the, the star ones I did edge with just what was on my black soot pad. And I will do the, oh, I did that one too, but I missed the other one. So we'll go back and do the other one. Okay. And I thought about doing you know, three of each, but then I I didn't like the look either, so I just thought, well, I'll just mix them up this way. It'll be fine. And I've kind of put together some items to put on here, so we're not uh, just guessing. So here's just my black stud. I have not added anything to it because I want it to be light. There we go. So I thought, well, we'll just do the, and I could have went reverse corners, but you're still going to end up with one in line with the other one. So, I thought might as well just do it this way. And once it gets covered up, it won't be as. These are always fun to make. And you can put anything you want on them. You can do any holiday. You can do every day. Um, I do all different kinds of them. Okay. All right. So. 
for this one down here. Let's go ahead and start here. I have used my Martha Stewart punch and I just punched out a little bit here. And then this is a Bow Bunny sticker. It's on there actually. And it's um, just the layered chipboard. I'm not sure if it's Winter Wishes. So that just says snow. We put that on there. And I did not cut this yet. I wanted to kind of eyeball it on there and see what I had. And I think we'll cut off this edge here first here, just like that. And then yeah, I think right in there. Let's see. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay. So I think I'm going to glue that on there and that on there. This did have a sticky on it, but when I went to pull it off, I pulled the sticky. I left the sticky on the thing, so that's fine. It's not, not a big deal. All right. And sometimes I keep these really simple. Sometimes I get way more elaborate on them. Just depends on what kind of effect I want. But I usually always have 3D elements um, on here, on these. So there we go. So like that. Perfect. All right. So we got that one. Now this one here, I have these pre-made flowers out of my stash and I thought those would look good on there. For those, I'm going to use my hot glue gun. I might add some red roses on there maybe. Let me see. To fill in. Nope, I think I'm just going to leave that. Maybe we'll add some snowflakes or something. And these are just... Uh, when I do up um, flowers and stuff for um, projects that I'm working on, I always make extras. And uh, I just throw them in my, in my stash. And that way I have them. Let me see here. I've got these little snowflakes here from AliExpress. Let me go ahead and put a few of those on. And I think I'll just use a little bit of hot glue on these two. Just a little dot. And then we'll just put these on here in different. Just to add a little bit of extra. Here we go. Okay. There we go. I'll hold this up so you can get a Look at it for a second here. There we go. Now, for my center one, I have cut out. This was a separate frame. And it was on, I don't remember what it was on. Oh, it was on Mad Plaid Christmas. And it was from Photoplay. So, and what I did was I went in and mitered all my corners and I saved one to do with you. So how I might miter my corners is I add the two pieces together that are going to be in that certain corner. And I make sure they're lined up perfect. And I pinch that together with my hand. You don't want them off at all. They got to be even. I come in this corner and I go right out that other corner. That creates a perfect miter for that. So now these are all mitered. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these down. And they were all three and a half inches, so they should go right to the edge. Okay. So let's get this corner to corner here. Just like that. And you can do any frame like that. Any frame at all. 
I just thought that was would look good. And the piece that I'm going to put in the center was also from that same um, pad. It was just separate from that. And I did notice that there was a um, little divot here. And it was in another part of the frame tube. This was a frame, but it was bigger. It was like six by four by six or something like that. And then this little tag was separate. So we're going to put that up on pop dots. So there we are. Let's go ahead and put some pop dots on that because I want that raised up. And uh, here we go. Yeah, the frames, you can make any size frame you want for things like that. They usually turn out pretty good. I'm just going to add a dot of glue here. There we go. And then that will be raised up in the center. Just like that. Just gives it dimension and uh, yeah, just like that. See that? Perfect. All right. So that there, I might just put one of these smaller snowflakes on there. These are snowflake buttons. And we might use, I'm not sure what that is supposed to be. There, like I said, there was one on the other section of the frame too. And uh, I didn't notice it until after I had already decided to uh, use that. Okay. So I think, yeah, we can use some of these little tiny snowflakes here. I just nipped off the, that will cover that up. Let's do a couple more here. And of course, we got glue strings, you know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I got a project out there that doesn't end up with glue strings on it. Well, I'm sure maybe there's some, but not very many. And we'll put, uh, how about we put one up on the corner of that just for something a little different? Whoops. Oh, come here. There we go. my tweezers here and get that off of there. There we go. All right. And then one last one and we will put that uh not sure. Let's see here. How about right up in here? Yeah, we'll put that right up in there. Ow. Got to be careful not to touch the, the glue gun on your finger. There we go. All right. Okay. So now we've got those on there. Okay. And let's see here. Now, I have a little red truck. I love my little red trucks. This die set came from AliExpress. I purchased it from, it's called Piggy Store, and the total set was $4.16, and you can choose just the car, and that comes on, that comes with this, which is um, like a tree, a pumpkin, a ball, a surfboard so you can do like your summer things um your winter things and then so that comes with the car base the tailgate and all that and then three words and then you can choose to purchase the other template that has other words so i purchased i purchased both so that way i can put that little phrase in my um in my tailgate there but it does come with three and it's not a bad price now if, just a reminder if you order from, if you've never ordered from aliexpress 
some items do take a bit to get to you. So um, I noticed now they started having where you could purchase some things from the United States. Not all things, but some are available to ship right from the United States. Those things usually cost you a little bit more um, in shipping because a lot of AliExpress is free shipping or very inexpensive shipping. So it might cost you a little bit more, but you'll get it sooner. Most products arrive um, from the destination within like 30 days. All right, so I'm just going to put that right in the center. Again, I put that up on Pop Dots. That's got the word joy, and it's in glitter paper, uh, silver glitter paper. All right. And this is like the little die for the tail lights there, the break in the tail lights. I'm going to put that back in the bag. All right. So our next one is, um, let's see, it is this little snowman. He is drinking hot cocoa. And that was cut out from that Mad Plaid Christmas also. So let's go ahead and put him up on some pop dots. Like I said, some things I keep very simple and just cut things out. Other things I add a little more detail to. It just depends on what it is. But I like a variety in these so it's more attractive to the eye that way. It's not just all flat. It's not just all raised. It's not. It just gives you variety. Okay. So let's kind of eyeball center that. If you need to measure it, you can, but I'm just going to eyeball. And like I said, you can choose anything you want. Now, this is also from that Bow Bunny set. And again, it is Winter Wishes. And I'm going to put that right in the center there. And it is just like a winter scene of a house. And it's in like a frame. And I'm just going to add a little bit of art glitter glue there. It's very sticky, but just so I can slide it around if I need to. And I'm going to save some room. I might put some of those roses around one of these corners here. Yeah, so we're going to center that just like that. Perfect. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so now... Let me snip some of these roses. So how I do these roses is I snip them off and leave just a little bit. And then I fold that over. If I don't, they come apart. So that is why I saved that little tiny piece of wire. And let's go ahead and put that on there. Sometimes I save these little pieces of wires for curly cues or... Just all the pens. And now we can do a white rose with those. Here we go. Let's do a white one with those. Bring it right off that corner. All right. Two reds and one white. How about that. Perfect. There we go. Let me lift that up. And you can, isn't that pretty? Getting cuter. I also have, it says, just says happy holidays. And it was in my stack. I'm not sure if it's from Michael's. It's just a wooden embellishment, $1.29. I want to say it was Michael's. Michael's or Joanne's, I'm not sure, and it doesn't say. It's just celebrate it. So I want to use that maybe here. Just like that, I think would be cute. There or there. Let's put our other ones on and then decide. I know I want this one here, this tree here up in this corner. Now this tree is also from AliExpress. It is from Cat Love. And it's just a Christmas tree. 
And the total with the shipping and handle, handling was $2.16. And it is two pieces. It is your base piece, which I cut in the glittery silver. I know it's hard to see. And then your second piece is three-dimensional. You pop these up so that it looks like the branches are raised. And that one I just cut in my white cardstock. Now, I don't want to glue my little branches down. I want to keep those up. So I'm just going to put a little bit here and there. There we go. And then we're going to center this on there just like that. And this is the first time I used that die, and I love it. It cut very nice. Um, sometimes you just never know, but it did cut very nice. Perfect. And I'm just going to put that in. Should I put that in the center? Or off to the side? No, let's center it. Now, I was thinking about putting some red dots on this, but, you know, I really like it just the white like it is, the white and the silver. I think that is just very pretty. So I don't think I'm going to put any red dots on it. I think I'm just going to leave it just like that. Yep. Raise those back up a little bit. There we go. Yeah. And then you can see, yeah, you can see the dimension in that. Perfect. All right, so now I'm down to two things. I have this, and I have just a piece of Christmas ribbon that I thought would look good on here, and a little reindeer. And I think, let's switch them around here and see what they think. You know, I kind of like this up here. So I'm going to go with this here. And because I want this ribbon to stick down fairly quickly, I'm going to add some hot glue to that. So I'm just going to run a bead along the top here and right along the bottom. This is wired ribbon. And I'm going to center that just like that. And I want to say, let me grab that a second. I'll tell you where I got that. But it's from last year, but it is um, Make Holidays, and it is from Joann's, so, but it's got, it's just pretty ribbon, it is wired too, so, but I do like it, I do like it, I used it in a project the other day, all right, so now I've got my little deer, and this is just, I want to say from like Walmart, a couple years ago, you get them in a pack, and so I'm just going to add some hot glue right to his belly there, and we're going to put him just like so, I think. All right, get that set up, and then I think we'll add some of these snowflakes to him it says snowflake there and if you look that kind of snowflake is kind of in there too the rounded edge ones you see it little rounded edge ones so let's go ahead and get a few of these going on there just like that maybe yeah i kind of like that that'll work all right we're gonna hot glue these down just a little bead in the center so, and you get quite a few of these in the bag. I can't remember if, uh, that's the other one I used to order from Wish. Some may have gotten them from Wish. I've had them for a while. I don't order very much from Wish anymore. Um, their descriptions on things wasn't always good. And I <laughs> had a couple incidents where um, I was very disappointed. So when I found AliExpress, I started ordering from them. 
Okay, so I think I'm not going to lift that up on any pop dots. I think I'm just going to glue that down just as it is because it is uh, wood and it has got some depth to it already. And believe it or not, we are about done. And it doesn't really take, depending on what you're going to put on them, it doesn't take usually too long. You can use all stickers. You can use whatever you want and uh, spend as much time as you want picking out the different things. But uh, you don't need a ready machine for this. There we go. Just like that. So there we go. Perfect. That will go in my entry room where people can see it when they walk in after Thanksgiving. So again, this is week number 46 on my 52 weeks of Christmas. I really appreciate you dropping by and I hope you do try some of these um, different uh, items that we've been creating. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel at this time, I would appreciate it if you just go below this video and hit that red subscribe button. There will also be a bell button. If you hit that, you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. So until the next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.